Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I'm doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install this Beta FPV Express ELRS long range radio receiver module onto your flight controller. I have already done the unboxing and in-depth review of this Beta FPV Express ELRS nano long range radio receiver module in my channel. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notification for all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, let's now quickly connect the RF module receiver onto this flight controller guys. For this, as you know, I will be using UART port 6 and 4V5 in the ground pin which is here available on my flight controller guys. This is an Express ELRS receiver guys of 915 megahertz guys so this is what I am going to use and then once I have soldered the pin onto my flight controller I will solder the pin onto my receiver. Here is the ground, here is the 5 volt supply, transmitter and receiver. So transmitter goes to the receiver of my flight controller and receiver goes to the transmitter of my flight controller and then I'm going to house it here as you can see onto my antenna holder guys I have a space here already where I can insert this small chip for receiver module and then connect it via antenna here I can connect the antennas here there are few holes here on the side guys which will help me install the antenna so this is how I'm going to do it so let's quickly install it here on TX6 pin of my flight controller before that guys as always let's quickly tin the ports let's start with TX RX 5 volt and ground so as you can see guys I have already tinned the pins now let's connect the wires quickly so here I have four wires guys red black green and orange red and black I'm going to connect it to 5 volt and ground and then green and orange to TX and RX let's do that quickly the TX wire so here guys my TX pin is soldered now let's solder the RX pin RX is the green wire guys so let's connect green wire so my RX pin is connected as well guys now let's connect 5 volt so this is 4v5 pad guys this pin gets powered up directly when you connect the USB guys so which is also something nice when you have the configurator guys and you are configuring this receiver module you don't need to connect the battery which is also something really nice about this flight controller guys so here is the 5 volt pin soldered so now the last one is the ground so let me quickly solder the ground here onto the last pad so here guys all my four pins are soldered let me give it a twist so that they all stays together and now guys in front of this uh, I am going to install my Express ELRS receiver so let's do that quickly as well so as always guys now let us quickly tin the pads of this radio receiver link so as to be able to solder the wires so let's do the ground first so this is ground then you have voltage which is going to be 5 volt guys or 4v5 pin on my flight controller and then you have TX and then you have RX So guys I have now properly tinned the pads of this radio receiver module guys now let us quickly connect it to the wire. So as you know guys the orange wire on my flight controller is the TX pad so it is going to connect it to RX pad of my radio receiver guys so let's quickly connect that orange to RX. Now 
then you have green to dx then you have red to 5 volt and then the black one to the ground like this So as you can see guys, I have successfully installed all the four pins onto my radio receiver link. Now let us install it onto the drone frame quickly. So guys, before we can start with the in installation of this radio receiver chip onto this antenna holder guys, let us do a few things first. First thing is to insert this shrinkable cover that came along with this receiver module so that whenever you connect the antenna, it will be easier for you to then slide up the shrink cable cover next thing that you need to do is to install the antenna onto this antenna holder onto the top guys here you can see you have an antenna holder pin then you have the antenna itself guys here you have the pin onto the top the circular one face the circle onto the top and then quickly press it so that it stays at its place so whenever you hit the click that is how you know that your antenna is installed properly so this is how your antenna should look like now use the shrinkable cover to slide it onto the top so that your chip is all inside and everything you can see here you have the bind button that you can press it from the top as well so as I told you guys during my review to bind this receiver onto your transmitter you need to press this bind button three times to put it into the bind mode so that is what we are going to do in the future video guys but now for installing this radio receiver module let's quickly use the heat shrink to shrink the cover i have the heat gun guys here let's quickly shrink this what we have done from the front side guys now let us do it from the back side as well so that it stays even let's do it from the front a little bit more So as you can see guys, uh, now your shrinkable cover is properly coated onto your receiver guys. This is also something really nice guys as you see the heat shrink is already covering your connection pad so there is no possibility of short circuit and also it will hold all the ports together so whenever you move it there is no point of damage and then it will also hold the antenna holder onto the top so that you know uh, during the shock and jerk your antenna holder will not get loose so this is also something really nice guys now let's quickly install it onto the drone frame guys to install it guys you have to insert the antenna right from the bottom and then take it out from this side guys so let's do that quickly I am going to install it like this so as to have the binding button on the top so that it is accessible whenever I require it to rebind or bind I will be able to do it right from the top without taking it out using some of the tweezer or maybe uh, the screwdriver I can push it three times uh, without taking this out from the antenna holder let's do that quickly so now you can see guys i have already inserted the radio receiver module inside this antenna holder as you can see from the back side guys the antenna as is now then inserted onto this antenna holder hole guys which is there on my antenna holder guys so here you can see it is properly inserted inside and it is placed very sturdily also guys you can see the bind button is visible on the top that is what i needed guys so that i will be able to access and bind whenever i want so this is also really nice guys and this custom holder guys will be able to hold this uh, firmly during the flight and it will not fall off so this is also something really nice guys now let's put in the antenna holder onto its place so this completes the installation of radio receiver module onto my drone so this is it guys this completes the 
tutorial on how to connect your radio receiver module onto your flight controller and install it onto your drone frame. I will be configuring this radio receiver module in iNav in my future videos guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos. So this is it guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.